What's up guys, Ron from Ron Rorty Law, and I'm here with another update on the Crowd Street scam, alleged scam from Nightingale who uh, ran off with $80 million, and now we're finally getting details about what he did with the money and whether he truly meant to scam his investors. All right, guys, if you recall a few weeks ago, I posted about Eli Schwartz. He's a New York-based uh, real estate owner. He's got uh, hundreds of millions of real estate, but apparently he ran off with a few million dollars. We're talking $80 million of investor equity. In particular, he took investor equity from Crowd Street and he didn't buy the buildings. In this article from Biz Now, you're seeing a little bit of his uh, counter. I don't know if it's an apology, but he starts to tell you what he did with the money. For example, he spent $12 million gambling on First Republic Bank stock. So if you recall, this was uh, after the Signature Bank had its issues and First Republic was not immune and they also were tanking. The share prices were just falling and this guy decided to buy $12 million of this equity, which is now worthless. In addition, he also spent the money on other acquisitions and properties for his company. As part of his settlement negotiations, he's offering to pay back investors a 5% simple interest if they opt to not sue him. He's pledging some, I don't know if it's significant, but he's pledging some collateral, including his very valuable New York penthouse. He sounds a lot like Trump talking about how great it is and how unique and how special. But at the end of the day, I think that this is a pretty weak attempt to solve it. You know, in my original video, I'll, I'll fully admit um, he did not disappear to Israel, although maybe with this uh, recent war, he came back from Israel, but he didn't run away. He's back. He's here to face the music. He's offering to pay back in quarterly investments of four million dollars over three years now i don't know about you but i think this is a very suspect play and while their options are limited i'm not sure that agreeing to this type of long-term repayment plan for equity right this isn't like he's renegotiating debt um, this is just equity. And I think if you have the claims for a fraud suit, which which these guys absolutely do, whether they're claims against CrowdStreet or Eli individually, it is really interesting that you would take a three-year payback when he had the cash in hand. And I, I, I get it. He lost some of it. But I don't know. What do you guys think in the comments? Is this a good deal if you're an equity holder to at least try to get some of your money back? Should you agree not to sue Nightingale and Schwartz? Um, and if he defaults on those payment plans, then you can go after his collateral. So there's a lot of moving pieces between the SEC, Department of Justice, and it's all subject to a bankruptcy court approval. But what do you guys think in the comments? Is this a good deal for the investors? Yes or no?